Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Caravan TV. Welcome back to Practical Caravan TV. Now don't worry, I haven't swapped my caravan for a powerboat just yet, although this is really rather tempting. Let's go and check a few more out. The centre washroom, rear island bed layout really is the floor plan of the moment. And you might not think there would be too much variation available on that theme. But now Adria has entered the fray with its new Alpina flagship. It's called the 613 UC Missouri and it really is a completely different take. It's also a monster. Look at it, it's eight feet wide with silver sidewalls and silver front and rear panels. So it looks really quite snazzy. It's also packed with kit. We've got an onboard water tank here and even a little pump to fill it. And then over on the other side, we've got an external locker, an external gas barbecue point, even an external socket and TV point. It's got everything, even the kitchen sink. Now, when I first saw this van at the launch last year, it already had this fabulous lounge area. There really are few better places to sit back and relax in the caravanning world, mainly thanks to these rather wonderful headrests. But what it really lacked was a TV point in the lounge area. It meant you had all the relaxing time, but nothing to watch on the telly. But fortunately, Adria have taken that on board and they finally fitted a TV point. It's in the doorway and they've recessed the wall back so hopefully you won't catch it on your way in and out of the van. It's great news, it really does answer a main criticism of this caravan. The rest of the lounge is pretty fantastic. Without a centre chest here, we've got a lovely wraparound seating area. It feels wonderfully comfortable and really roomy. We've got plenty of light too with that vast skylight overhead and windows all around and the concave cupboards at the top help give a sense of space. At night, this area turns into a simply vast double bed. There are reading lights too at the front here, although because there's only one on each side at the front, it means when this is made up as a double bed, there won't be one for the person sitting towards the rear of the van. Earlier on, I mentioned that this van has a centre washroom, and I guess I was being a tiny bit disingenuous there. Yes, it is in the centre, but it is tucked away on the side of the van. And that's because Adria has chosen to concentrate on living space in this caravan rather than bathroom space. And to good effect, this really is a fantastic kitchen area. We've got a tower refrigerator, a decent sized sink, and the usual Adria three burner gas hob, which drains directly into the sink. There's also a proper extractor fan here and a couple of sockets, which is always good to see. Underneath the worktop, there's a separate oven and grill, although they are sighted really quite low. Alongside them, there's a storage for your lounge table. Now, this area really does feel nice and bright. In the prototype van, this wall was painted a dark brown, and Adria have chosen to make it wood colour, which really lifts the space, as does the full height mirror. Great for getting yourself ready before you go out of an evening. I love the fact that the kitchen has these massive drawers. They really have a lovely action to them and are really domestic in feel. Now, time to address the elephant in the room, that washroom. Bearing in mind that this is a top spec van, the washroom does leave a little bit to be desired. There's a lot of intrusion from the wheel arch and the same bench loo as you'll find in entry level models. There is a drop down sink and a smoked window, which is good to see, but it's still a little dingy, particularly in the shower area. This caravan really is all about relaxing. I mean, check out this master bedroom. The bed is simply enormous and you don't have to leave it to operate all of the lighting in here thanks to these rather neat controls. We've got a couple of USB sockets here too and a 230 volt socket on the other side. And of course, vast amounts of storage underneath the island bed, although you can't access that from outside. Now, while reclining back here, we can enjoy the TV once again, thanks to the mounting of a telly on the wall of the bathroom. There's storage all around too. We've got some more of those nice concave cupboards overhead and a wardrobe on either side. There is one flaw here, however. When you extend that bed to its fullest for nighttime use, unfortunately, it restricts access to the washroom. But I suppose there has to be a compromise somewhere. At nigh on two tonnes and well over £27,000, this is a pretty serious caravan. There are still compromises to be made, in particular if you're the sort of person who likes to use the van's facilities rather than the site wash block. But Adria has listened to customers and dealers and made some really sensible tweaks to this van. 
ally that to the fantastically luxurious feel, and it really starts to feel like a Tourer that lives up to that price tag. Viewers with a long memory will remember Cathy here, who I met last year with her fabulous barefoot caravan. But since then, things have moved on a bit. Cathy, can you tell me a little bit about the van behind us today? Ah, oh, yes, hello again. Um, yeah, we've got a new naked barefoot caravan this time. Uh, this one's in duck egg blue, which I think the last one you saw was cream anyway. Um, and this is a completely empty barefoot caravan uh, with a few fundamentals in there. So a different sort of thing. What do you get a standard in, in a naked barefoot? Uh, we've got it lined out. We've got lovely lining on the walls and the floor. Um, some nice calm the Oak effect flooring and electrics, windows, window blinds, all the, all the things that people might find difficult to fit out themselves. But the idea behind it is that we've had a lot of people asking us they'd like to make something as a home office or a mobile business, a mobile nail spa, um, a coffee shop, you name it. So we can't cater for every request. So we thought we'd create a lovely empty space for people to make their own. So not necessarily traditional caravans? No, there are a few people who'd like to fit out a caravan themselves. Obviously, the sorts of people that buy vintage caravans to fit out. So it appeals to them as well. But then, no, a, a lot of, um, of inquiries are sort of commercial usage as well, yeah, which is nice. And what's the, what's the difference in price between this and a fully fitted out barefoot? Uh, about £9,000. So quite significant, yeah. <laughs> so what does this one cost? This one costs 14995 and it's ready to go like that? It's ready to go like that and it comes, you know, obviously with all the, all the same safety equipment and, and so on, yeah. And within the price, people can choose their colour. So there is some uh, element of bespokeness about it still, uh, but, you know, not the same fittings, yeah. So what's next for Barefoot Caravans? Well, it's been an interesting year. Um, we've had lots of inquiries from America and overseas other places as well, but particularly China. Um, so we're looking at exporting further afield, as well as Europe. Uh, we'll be looking at some, some faraway places, yeah, which is going to be interesting. Well, fantastic. Maybe I'll see you at a foreign show next time. Yeah, fabulous. Thanks very much <laughs> for seeing us again. Nice to see you. Luna has had lots of success over the past couple of seasons with centre washer and layouts. First of all with the Delta RI, which was Practical Caravan's Tourer of the Year two years ago, and then with the Clubman SR. And now it's filtering down to more affordable ranges with this, the Lexon 590. And first of all, isn't it good to see that the toilet hatch is here on the offside, so no need to empty a full cassette through your awning if you've got one fitted. It's also great to see a proper external hatch at the back here. And not only that, it also stretches right the way across the van. And you can get at it from inside too, by simply lifting up the bed. And there it is. It's a bit of a shame that that space doesn't extend right to the foot of the bed, because if you store things under here, they're going to roll around a bit. Pop the bed back down, and this is a fine looking bedroom. As ever with this layout, the bed isn't the longest. It's going to be a bit too short for me, but as long as you're less than six foot tall, then it should be fine. It's well equipped too. We've got shelves, reading lights, lockers overhead, and a wardrobe for each bed occupant on either side. I also really like these little side tables. They're ideal for popping a cup of tea, some specs, and a book. And at the foot of the bed, mounted on the bulkhead, there's a TV point. You each get your own entrance into the centre washroom, and it's a really good sized space for a single axle caravan. On the near side here, we've got a circular shower. There is some wheel arch intrusion, but it looks very smart with this tiled effect, and there's a couple of shelves in there too. And in the middle, well, there's a vanity unit with a backlit mirror, a salad bowl sink with a pop-up plug, and beneath that, a bathroom cabinet. There's another bathroom cabinet on the offside wall above the smoked window and the electric flush loo. And beneath that, you'll find a Truma blown air outlet, because of course the Lexon has blown air heating instead of Aldi wet central heating. This is an unusually good kitchen for a centre washer and van. We've got plenty of space. Take away the removable drainer and there's a good amount of worktop. Plus, if you need more, there's a pop-up flap at the end. There's a top spec dual fuel hob and separate oven and grill and masses of storage space under the counter here with these two big cupboards, which is also where you'll find the freestanding table for the lounge. Up high, there's some really lovely backlighting for these overhead lockers too. And then moving over to the near side of the van, there's a massive tower refrigerator, plenty of space for a good trip away. And above that, a microwave, admittedly mounted a bit high. 
If one area of this van feels a little squeezed, then frankly it's the lounge. This really is only for four people. That said, there's a lot to like in here. I'm particularly keen on these new soft furnishings. They feel really modern and really neutral. It's lovely and light as well. Luna's introduced a front sunroof for 2017 and there's a massive skylight overhead. There's plenty of storage options too. We've got side lockers, space under the bed boxes and these new little corner units which are rather neatly integrated into the van. At night there are some great lighting options. We've got the light beam around the front and four corner spotlights which is great. It means however you set up this double bed beneath me you'll have a reading light. There's no doubt that the Clubman SR is a more dramatic looking van than this Lexon 590, but apart from that and the fact that this van has blown air heating instead of Aldi, there really is very little to tell between the two. In fact, for my money, I think I prefer the interior ambience on the 590 than the SR. At a pound less than 21,000 quid, the Lexon is nearly 3,000 pounds cheaper than its upmarket sibling. You do the maths. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week, but we'll be back next week with more great caravan reviews. In the meantime, you can keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter or via our website. And don't forget, I'll be coming up right after this with Practical Motorhome TV. Well, shouldn't you be getting on with it then? Your motorhomes await. I think I should. Until next time, goodbye. Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Caravan TV.